Epic Call. That's only in pack two. All right, uh, so let's knock this one out real fast here. Since I know we are going to head rush. Uh, for the uh, film review channel, we've been working on it a little bit lately, and we're going to continue to add to it, so that's not going away anytime soon. Be sure to check that out if you want. And right now, uh, the first spin on this one will be the first spin. It's a puppy farm! Hey, it's Groundhog's Day! Wow, even a backwoods rodent can... Just the one. Also nice to hear that Groundhog stay with something. Wasn't expecting that. B is in buzzer, by the way. And now, here's the man that'll make you pee in your pants. Bob the host. Bobby Bob. Wow, look at you, playing Head Rush by yourself. Hey, can I let you in on a little secret? You're gonna win. Now then, here, my friend, is the dealio. Question comes up, you buzz in, then you hit a one, two, three, or four to pick your answer. Pretty darn easy, ain't it? Well, uh, if there's no further questions, let's start today's lesson. Let's go. Okay, I need a category. May I introduce, this question will give you the munchies. How does $20,000 sound? So check it out. I got home the other night and I made this awesome sandwich. It was totally huge. It had turkey, ham, salami, mustard, Munster cheese, pickles, tomatoes, some really old mayonnaise, lettuce, alfalfa sprouts, and cucumber slices on pumpernickel bread. You got it? Good, because what I want to know is what was between the pickles and the old mayonnaise? Alfalfa, lettuce, mustard, or tomato? Happy tomato. No sandwich would be complete without a nice, thin slice of tomato. <laughs> Although I probably should have kept that really old mayonnaise off. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely should have kept it off. I'm surprised she didn't get sick out of it. Category, please. she is. Every man is a Gilligan. 10,000 bucks riding on this one. Man, how stupid are those castaways not to find a way off that island every time someone comes and visits them? I mean, what is up with that? Imagine an episode of Gilligan's Island where the castaways get stranded on land surrounded by water on only three sides. What should the show be called? Gilligan's Tundra, Gilligan's Peninsula, Gilligan's Delta, or Gilligan's Strait? I think that'd be Peninsula. A piece of land surrounded by water on three sides is a peninsula. Good example would be the south end of Florida. Maybe this will help. Imagine the skipper floating in a bathtub surrounded by Ginger, Marianne, and Mrs. Howell. Ugh. Uh, on second thought, don't. Ugh. I need get, those, get those bets in for that prediction. Coming at you. Shoes that let your feet air out. Phew. Get it right. I'm handing over 20K. Okay, now you know how Michael Jordan's Nike shoes are called Air Jordans, right? Sure. If Air Jordans were really made of air, which of these would not be part of them? An oxygen swoosh, nitrogen laces, calcium soles, or a carbon dioxide tongue? Calcium is not a part of air. Oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide are all parts of the air we breathe. Calcium ain't there. If they did have calcium soles, they'd have to change their name to Milk Jordans, and then the team would be like the Chicago Cows. Okay, pick a category. All right, it's time for a headbutt. Oh, sure.
One headbutt category coming up. Is that Maybe what punk rockers wear? The Let's get the ball rolling at 50K for this headbutt question. Here's how to work the headbutt. You're going to see an equation like this one. All you got to do is figure out the parts and add them together. Oh, Let's see here. Paid athlete is pro. Littlest Hanson is Zach. Add them up. Pro Zach. Pretty simple, huh? All right, now you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this, but every second and a half, I'm taking away some cash. Finger on buzzer. Now check this out and tell me what does this equation add up to? Volleyball move plus brand of jeans. Spike, please. It's all yours. Oh, Clayton, I got it, answer. yeah. Uh. <laughs> yep, Spike Lee. Great filmmaker. Better Knicks fan. All righty, pick one. And yeah, here we have right thing bye 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 a Marigo Pie. Twenty thousand bucks for a correct answer. Hey, if Columbus supposedly discovered America, then why isn't the country named after him? I mean, instead, America is named after the first name of some guy who put America on the map. His first name's Amerigo. But if the American continents were named after Amerigo's last name, what would the country be called? Da Gamaca, Da Vincica, Vespucica, or Harmonica? It was, I think his name was Amerigo Vespucci. America is named after Amerigo Vespucci, an Italian explorer and map maker. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Vespucica. <laughs> Category, please. Looks like this category is Northern Lights, I'm Camera, humor, Action. Apparently. This one can get you 10 grand. Think fast. If the Taylor family from Home Improvement moves to a town in Alaska, what will be the best title for this new show? Gnome Improvement, Comb Improvement, Rome Improvement, or Loam Improvement? That would be no Improvement. Nome is a town on the west coast of Alaska. <laughs> Which should work out pretty well, because I hear Jonathan Taylor Thomas actually is a gnome. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I need a category. Your attention, please. Attention. You just picked a this or dad. Maybe one the day category I'll for this dis or that question is, baby, you move me. All right, I'm going to give you seven characters, and for each one, I want you to tell me if that particular character is made of clay or if it's a cartoon. As each one comes up, if Alrighty. it's clay, press one. If it's a cartoon, press two. And if you want to skip one, press four. Five thousand bucks for each right answer, and you lose five thousand for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. Okay, timer please. And we're off. Dexter, clay or cartoon? Cartoon. Fat Albert. Cartoon. Gumbag. It's clay. Charlie Brown. Cartoon. The California Raisins. Uh, clay. Hey. Wallace and Gromit. Clay. Last one, Kenny. Cartoon. That's all she wrote. Hey, you only missed one. Not too bad. Let's check out your score. Get his freedom for you. That's great. Let's move on. Okay, pick a category. Well, what do we have here? If Jerry Springer says it, it must be true. You give me a right answer, I give you 30,000 bucks. Oh, how's it going? Uh, just flipping through the TV guide here. See what my man Jerry's up to today. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, this ought to be a good one. The topic of Jerry Springer's show is queens who marry their brothers and sleep with Roman emperors. Who will be today's guest? Mary, Queen of Scots, Joan of Arc, Cleopatra, or Helen of Troy? I think it's Cleopatra. Cleopatra VII married her brother and was Julius Caesar's mistress in Rome, all while ruling Egypt. <laughs> well, Cleo, I'll tell you what, we got your You're brother and your win. lover backstage. Come on, bring them out. All righty, pick one. Pop. 
pucker up for. Hello, my name is. And you pocket 20,000 clams if you get this one. You know what? I think it's about time we got to know each other a little better, don't you? Okay, here goes. Hi, my name's Bob. I like water sports and I play drums in a 70s cover band. I'll eat just about anything you put in front of me and I refuse to get a haircut. Oh, and uh, you'll never see any of my tattoos. Okay, on with the game. What's my name? A palindrome, a haiku, an ampersand, or a flavin? Bob is his name, and that's a palindrome. A palindrome is a word that's spelled forwards and backwards the same, like Bob. <laughs> oh, and for your information, Bob's also a guy with no arms and legs in the ocean. I need a category. Oh, we're doing that old joke. This category is known as, we're all rock stars in the shower. 10,000 beanies if you get this one. Okay, show of hands, who uses a washcloth in the shower? Okay, now who uses one of those fancy scrapey loofah sponge things? All right, well imagine this. If you're in the shower and reach for your loofah, but accidentally grab the louvre, what might you do? Would you smear a small bird in your hair, scrub your butt with a Mona Lisa, squish a molecule between your toes, or get a foreign car in your eyes? The Louvre is where they keep all the art, including the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is kept in an art museum in France called the Louvre. <laughs> now I understand why she's got that weird smile on her face. She's seen you in the shower naked. Okay, oh, no. I need a category. <laughs> Keep staring at that screen, because when you see two words that match, you better buzz in. If you're right, I'll give you 5,000 bucks, but if you're wrong, your 5,000 bucks is mine. Oh, and don't forget, your match better fit this clue. No school today. Well, there may be no school, but there still is the head rush. Good luck. First day of the year. Twenty fifth of December. Joy fourth. Fourth Thursday, November. September. May. February. What do you have to Congratulations, my friend. You made it through an entire game by yourself, and you came out on top. You know, not many people can say that, but yeah, they can. Oh, well. Thanks for playing. Bye. Nice job, people. Thank you, that's in your hands. Tell me, we doing another one right away? You know, there are only a few moments in a person's life as important as making the high scoreboard. Like tying your shoe for the 3,000th time. So why don't you do that too, and then tell me if you want to play again. Yeah, I think we done. And that concludes this episode of You Don't Know Jack Head Rush. If you like what you saw here, be sure to Hit the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, leave a comment in the section below, and uh, subscribe and spread the word on YouTube. We'll see you next time here in Tickets Place Gaming as the arcade is out close. 
Alrighty, that takes care of two of the four games.